internet is a complex electronic system. Billions of packets crisscross the globe each second, routed by the addresses they carry. In Mumbai, India, thousands of workers rely on a complex human system, the Daba Wallas, delivering thousands of lunches by their routing codes. After the commuter has left for work, his or her cook or spouse fixes lunch and packs it into a multi-level metal container. On the handle, there's a color-coded notation. This lunch, prepared by Mrs. Bapat, is picked up at the home by a Dabawala. These lunch workers decode the symbols and route the lunches by train, by bike, and by foot to their destination. From the human voice to percussion, woodwind, and brass instruments, mankind developed music, a universal language that transcends cultural boundaries. The invention of recording devices allowed performances to be preserved and distributed, leading to the creation of whole new industries. I think we have a sense these days that not just technology is accelerating, history is accelerating. We're so busy keeping up with the present that I think we lose track of the long-term issues of the future. The clock of the long now is both a myth and a mechanism. One great thing about a clock is that it doesn't accelerate. One hour is exactly the same as the next. That's kind of reassuring. And clocks are familiar tools. They've been giving order to civilization since the 14th century. But where most clocks are about minutes and hours, this clock is about centuries and millennia. Students at this advanced high school in Shanghai are dedicated to excellence in every field. Despite their Spartan dormitory life, they have unlimited expectations, and they are devoted to building a new China. When we study our country's history, we're always proud of the four inventions, literary, accomplishment, arts, cultures. I remember a dramatic letdown when we were studying histories. We realized that Ch Chinese culture as a nation, as a country, never experienced industrial development. As the students of this graduating class from prestigious Fudan University pack their bedrolls to leave for the last time, they enter a world where the only certainty is technological change. I typically rollerblade once a week. Some people think about new ideas in the shower. I think about microprocessors while rollerblading to work. There's a part of the process which is artistic part of the process. And that usually involves people like, just people like Mark, and people like Bill Joy, for example. And uh, it's not so much a process that they're going through, but it's seeing the lightning striking. Some people are just very good at seeing things that other people don't see. With Moore's Law, you can extrapolate three, four, five years, six years ahead of time. But what's the killer app? That's much harder to predict. San Jose Sharks fans are among the most devoted in sports. Painting their faces and waving teal town towels, these paying customers demonstrate a fierce loyalty that would make the average business CEO teal with envy. When the sharks hit the ice, the fans go crazy, but is this just predictable enthusiasm from hockey diehards? Just kind of a constant uh, circular motion from the, the rider back to the engineer, back to the computer, back to manufacturing. Then they fabricate prototypes, which they give to me, which I destroy in the test lab. And at the same time, outside of work, I try to break them on my own, uh, doing this type of observed trials riding.
England's McLaren Racing became the number one Formula One team in the world through its ability to integrate technical developments with improvements in the driver's performance. The more information that we can get about what is happening to the car, the more we can relay that information to the driver. The more information the driver gets, the more he can then turn around and give us his own personal feeling to what's going on. Man and machine working together. The driver wants to be quicker all the time. The only way to learn to be quicker is to compare your previous laps on the data and try to understand how you can brake later, how you can corner better, is it better to short shift. We're constantly refining from the information we get from telemetry. When the car crosses a line and the checkered flag is raised, it gives you a great feeling of success.